Hey guys, it's MMO Blitz from Twitch.tv, and I want to throw out a quick or relatively quick video showing off one of my new favorite activities in Arc Age. Uh, it's shipwreck salvaging. Now, yes, I know, Arc Age, what am I doing? Well, I never thought I'd come back to the game, but there's been a peak in interest um, towards this game over the last couple weeks, and I thought I'd come check it out. This time I'm focusing on things that do not revolve around PvP and the dreaded pay to win. That's a whole nother topic. So, but this activity, essentially what it boils down to is sailing around looking for lifeboats that are floating on the ocean surface and diving down, looking for bubbles, looking for wreckage and raising that wreckage to the surface and taking trade packs off of the ship. So uh, it's, it's good money. It's fun. It gives you something to do. Uh, the thing about it is though, it's a little bit cost prohibitive. Um, it's not, it's not cheap to get into. Um, you're looking at basically needing a submarine with sonar, uh, to save labor. You're looking at a compressed air cannon. You don't have to have that, but it's going to take you about 300 labor points to manually dig that wreck out of the sand. Uh, you need about 10 recovery pouches. I think it's 10 minimum recovery pouches to float that wreckage up to the surface. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and need a merchant schooner basically to, uh, to take the packs and haul them back to an ocean trader. Uh, you can do it with a fishing boat, but the problem with that is, is that you're if you replace the front fitting with a crate, you're only going to get about five uh, five packs. So you're going to need to bring friends. So I do recommend investing in a merchant schooner. Um, after that, let's see. You need you need labor. It's going to take uh, 300 labor, like I said, to dig the dig the wreckage out. If you don't have in a compressed air cannon, uh, unwrapping the eight parcels is going to cost you about 60 labor each. Uh, but it's a little bit less because if you're just starting out, you're not going to have um, the proficiency to open the shiny uh, parcels, which takes 100,000 proficiency in exploration. So you're going to have to leave some, you know, of the packs. I think it's uh, two or three. So you're going to have to leave some because you just can't open them. Uh, but the, other than that, it's, it's a great activity. Um, go ahead. I'll, I'll look at the description. I'll post a link to the guide that I followed. And if you, you know, if that doesn't help you out, go ahead and look around Google, but it's really, it's, it's a good time. Uh, it's a good way to relax and play the game and just kind of, you know, make money. It's a little risky. I don't know what server, you know, you all may be on, but on Olo, it's not so bad. I can do this by myself. Um, but on a server like Morpheus or Kraken, it's going to be a little bit more risky. You're not going to want to, uh, you know, go down to the bottom of the ocean, raise that boat up and be out there by yourself on a merchant schooner. You're probably going to want to bring friends. But on a server like Olo, you know, I can do this and make anywhere from 90 gold to 150 gold per run, uh, and nobody touches me. So um, let's go ahead and watch the video. I'll switch over, and I'll put links to the tutorial that I followed in the description. Um, and if you like the video, like, subscribe, and come hang out with us in the evenings. I start between 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. Central Time, uh, twitch.tv slash MMOblitz, and we'll see you there.